Luigi, what are you doing over here? The crown is happy to take our seed for taxes. Take our seed. I know what he means, but damn. But where's their support when we need it, eh? How do you go around? Ta do they just send a tax getter around? I can't play. My mo my mom says it's not safe out. It throws me off a little bit that the game's diagonal, but it's actually surprisingly hard to press diagonally. Either on controller, which I've now set up, or keyboard and mouse. When, and like release them at the same time to stay diagonal to click on somebody. Roll of bandages! I'm just looting your stuff by... I'm actually a thief. Alright, and I got controller set up so I can be comfy and lean back instead of uh, hunching over the, the uh, keyboard for minimum inputs anyway. I'm... I'm ready. Let's do this. You will be devoured whole. You have zero chance of, success, of survival. Hit it. Got a flower pot in the way. It's too strong. I can't even look at it directly. What is this? What is this thing? It's creepy looking, even by statue standards. It's Cormac, the village's watchful protector. No. Oh. Not doing a very good job, is he? No, I guess he's not. Cormac the Watchful stars blankly. Save your game? Save your game? Your game has been saved. Oh, other side of the same room. Let's hope the orange cat is weak to fire, and that its color is not indicative of anything. The warrior mouse returns. And with a mole this time? Don't tell me the little kitty is scared of being outnumbered. Scared? All I see before me are an entree and the main course. Go ahead, mouse and mole. Use your god weapons. They won't save you. Ruh-roh. Hold your nerve, mole. Hold my nerve? I'm done holding my nerve. I'm gonna unleash fire and fury. Hey, well, uh, I still only have two points. Let's do rage and get angry. Light him up, Siobhan. I'm on it. Whack and worm fire. You better be weak to fire. Super. Well, that did more damage than most of the characters I've played so far could survive. Let's add to it. Super! One damage. Oh, wow. Not so impressive right now, are you? Whack has to be kind of useless, right? Let's defend. Bleeding. Uh oh. This may be only fight when these people are ramped up enough to do some serious damage. Oh, yep. Thing. Vermlind Cleave. We did it. We we actually did it. But we didn't land a killing blow. It doesn't matter. That kitten won't be bothering the village anytime soon. Come on, let's give Mammy the good news. Ah, you're, uh, mm. I assume there's nothing to do down here. Oh, it lets me go. I don't think it would let me go this way. Anyway, I doubt this is going to be good news. 
We've specifically established how they react to this exact situation. You broke two out of three rules. They only have three rules. Why are you still here, Vagabond? I thought I made myself clear. Mammy, you'll never guess what. Sir Verm and I fought off Tiger. We actually did it. You? You slayed Aphilidae? Well, we didn't quite slay it. But we certainly sent him running. That mangy monster will be licking his wounds for seasons. My word, Siobhan. I knew you were no dainty lady, but this... This is something else. Don't you have anything to say, Mommy? I do. You disappoint me, Siobhan. I disappoint you? I freed us from Tiger's tyranny. Your short... You short-sighted fool of a daughter. What will happen if the gods see us as a threat? Blades and poison, fire and water. They will rain hell on us, and it will be the end of Cranbale. Mammy. Get out. Fine. Come on, Verm. I'll see you to the entrance. No, Siobhan. Leave. Leave? You want to be a warrior so much, like your father was? You want to tinker with god tools and fight titans? Well, fine. You've got your wish. I am exiling you from Cranbale Village. Mammy? Go on. Leave. Don't come back. Verm, wasn't it? You've caused enough damage here, I think. Whatever. You know... I came here because I heard Cranbale was the gathering place of the smartest minds of Rodentia. But all I've found are stubborn idiots. Do you want to follow the old way? Or do you want to survive? The old way is survival. The old way is dead. Javon gets that. Why can't you? Get. Out. Was I too harsh on Siobhan, Lord Master? A harsh lesson is sometimes needed, my lady. But, perhaps, if it would ease my lady's worries, I could send a butterfly. A butterfly? To the king. A formal request to overwatch the girl, should she reach- should she enter Mirida. Very well. It's tough. She's- it's a bad- it's a rough- oop, hello. Two seeds are just hanging out by this rock. How many other secret spots could there be? On one hand, it feels cruel that she's exiling her daughter and whatnot, but on the other hand, like... Yeah! If you make a bunch of a, a bunch of noise and mess, you know what humans do to- to rat- to rat nests and so on? They tend to, to wipe them out. They don't really know what the yellow god is, but the yellow god is an exterminator. Oh, there you are. What? What am I supposed to do now? Anything you want. Can I come with you? Anything but that. I've got a job to do. They say that two people shorten the road. Don't follow me. I said, don't follow me. You're a liability. Was I a liability against Tiger? You were okay. Just okay. But you're going to Mirida, right? I can help you get there. I don't need a chaperone. Sir Verm, 
I know I'm not the greatest fighter. And I don't know what this yellow god is you're after. But I want to learn. And I want to help. What do you say? Whatever. I feel like you would probably follow me even if I said no. We'll go to Murata together. After that, who knows? Thank you, Sir Verm. I won't let you down. We got a begrudging party. Like how Guts just has a talent for magnetizing people to him regardless. Until all these cracks show in his facade. There is a very high up chest. I do not know how to get to that chest. Huh. Rumble strip stuff. Dolboro Road, N1. Cat. Ooh. Ooh. Chest. Chest. Five seeds. Look at this platforming. I did not expect to be able to get around like this. Uh, he doesn't want to go on the recycling bin. Huh. Well, thank you, arrows. What's this? Just garbage. Come on, we've got a lot of walking to do. Ah. Uh. Is there someone out there? No. Ah. My bad. Sir Verm. Someone's stuck in there. We have to help them. We're never going to make it to Murata if we get sidetracked by every idiot in distress. Oi! You're headed to Murata? I could fly you there. Fly? Of course. That's a carrier basket over there. So this person must be a majestic carrier raven. Sir Verm, this is a golden opportunity, a free ticket to Murida. A direct flight would save a lot of time. Weeks, even. Alright, sit tight, bird. Cool beans, uh... I'm not going anywhere. Let's look around, though. I apparently found our objective immediately. I was a little intimidated when we went out into the street and it's just a wide open area, and I'm immediately like, oh, geez. Uh... This might be pretty open. Looks like you can't go off the sidewalk, though, so it's a little less than that. I really think this bag might come in use, Sir Vern. I really doubt it. It also looks uncarryable. Someone got an F in something. Something, Jabra. Okay, yeah, there's nowhere else to go. It's just, it's just that. Having the camera just pan out to this big street that's larger than your camera is, is, is like... A bit of a whoa moment when the whole game's been hallway so far. This lid looks pretty heavy. Will I be able to lift it? Guess I won't know till I try. I need to show Sir Vern that I'm not a liability. There must be some way I can help. What are you about to do? Hmm. Did this come in use? Huh. Probably not. Without the bag would. I knew it! There's all kinds of grand things in here. There's pointy sticks, a rubbery cube, an eraser, and pencils. Brute strength didn't work. Maybe I can stab this damn lid open. Sir Vern, I found something! A bomb! <laughs> junk. Not just any old junk. Give me a second. <laughs> what did she what is she doing? <laughs> oh that was stupid. All these sound effects and she just jammed a ruler in there. You built a seesaw. A lever. It's basic mechanics. 
If we both jump as hard as we can on that end, the lid will go flying. Will it really? Trust me. Are you ready, bird? Ready for what now? They're ready. Fine. Let's give this a shot on three. One. Two. Oh. Oh! I wasn't sure where they were going to land. I thought they were in danger. <laughs> I was not I was not ready for the music pigeon. Look at that animation. Oh my days. I almost died in there. I have no idea how you two busted me up, but mad respect. How'd you even get stuck in the first place? So, like, you know that thing where you smell a bit of food and when you follow it, the next thing you know, you're stuck in a box surrounded by garbage? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the name's Dizzy, by the way. It's a pleasure to meet you, Dizzy. I'm Lady Siobhan, and this is Sir Verm. Again, I'm not a knight. You says you two were headed to Murida, the rodent capital, right? That journey's a breeze, just a short flight southwest of here. I can take you right away. Are you sure? That's so kind of you. Hey, it's the least I can do for getting me out of that thing. Hop in the basket when you're ready. Basket's all prepped and waiting. This character. We're off to the rodent capital. Hold on tight, because I ain't stopping if you fall. But we stopped for you. How dare you. Does he get his own theme song? Because pigeons are cool. 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 Anyway. Oh, airship. I thought it was a menu. So Cranvale's there. This is a huge old city. Just huge old map. This is a proper like JRPG airship screen, isn't it? It's probably my goal. I imagine there's only one place to go right now. I imagine the game is probably pretty linear given how story driven it is, but I'm cool with that. If the writing is fun and the animations are good and the and the fights are unique, then we're having a good time. That perspective doesn't work. <laughs> Welp. This station is Murida. Gotta get a flight? Yeah, pretty smooth. What'd you think, Siobhan? Ah. Uh. She's gone. Yeah, moles ain't built for flying. Anyway, mirror us through a gutter over there. I'll take you to... It'll it'll take you to a pipe that goes down. Way down to the under river level. So mirror that lies below us. This is what kind of fancy god building is this place, anyway. Beats me, Mouse Gang. Us pigeons just, just call it the Belfry. The gods call it the Western Palace. It's just some old building they use for bureaucratic work. But we won't see any godly business because Mirada lies below the floorboards. The rodent city and the godly city, two societies that are so close but never overlap. Yes, you're feeling better. Oh, uh, I suppose I am. Thank you for the trip, Master Dizzy. No probs. You two got me out of a real pickle, so feel free to stop by if you need to go somewhere else. Just lifelong companion now. We can go way into the background. Just way in the background. Now way back up to here. Let's see, is this London? That's my gut reaction to to, to the bell tower, but I don't know. Or clock tower, bell tower. Well, they're very good at climbing down drains. The Under River. This must be Bloody Bridge. It connects to the city's east gate. 
and the rapid water below is the moat of Murida. The current in the moat is so intense that anyone who falls in it is swept straight out to sea. You sure know a lot about a random bridge. It's a famous bridge, Sir Verm. Wars have been decided on this very choke point. Fascinating. I think I see the gate ahead. D A Dare I don't know. <laughs> the copper doors of Mirada's East Gate. The famous city beneath the city is just beyond here. State your business. Our business is our own, nosy. Sir Verm, be nice. The verification of all migrants and visitors is standard mirror to procedure. I apologize for my companion. He's just a little cranky from the long journey. I am not cranky. Aha. Uh -huh. State your business. Right. Our business. We are... Do not call yourself vagabonds. I don't think they want vagabonds in. Warriors. Swords for hire. Every vagabond who picks up a weapon thinks themselves a valiant sellsword. On the king's orders, Mirida's border is closed. There's no admittance, especially for vagabonds like yourself. Good day. Can you make an exception? Ah, uh, he's gone. Psst. You two, over here. No, chest. <laughs> First chest. Who's leaving seeds out in a giant box? Oh, look at this goofy ass man. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. The phonetic typing. I'm so fucked at this accent. He's extremely Scottish. He's so Scottish. I'm fucked. <laughs> the way bookkeeper did I let you pass, eh? Pardon. Are you out of hearing, lad? I said the wee bookkeeper didn't let you pass, eh? Beg your pardon. Are you out of hearing, lad? I said the wee bit. <laughs> That's right. Ah, uh, right. No matter. That's another route. See this door? It's a service tunnel that goes to Mjorda. But it's a labyrinth. And I know the way. So you'll be our guide? That's great! What's your price, Harlequin? Price? I'm no fool. You want seeds, right? Nah, I didn't want your seeds, just your skills. Our skills? Your warriors, I. Sometimes there's a few wee bugs on the path. I reckon you could bash some chili. It's just a wee few bugs. Why don't you fight them yourself? I'm a bard, not a fighter. A lousy pacifist. I think that's a very fair offer, Mr. Squirrel. What do you say, Sir Vern? What's the catch? No catch, lad. Just makes sense to stick in groups when brave in a labyrinth. Something smells fishy. Don't be a cynic, Mr. Vern. Does this kind of does this kind stranger really look suspicious to you? Just as a literal harlequin? Extremely. Stop being silly. We would be happy to join for for you to join us, Mr. Squirrel. Magic. Name's Bruce, by the way. Verm. And I'm Lady Siobhan. No, wait, just Siobhan. Nice to meet you, Bruce. Pleasure, pleasure to meet you both. But let's not waste any more time. Bruce has joined the party. He's huge. Squirrel's big. Are squirrels even bigger than moles? Does that even work out that way? The service tunnel is for authorized personnel only. Skills. I did ding. Okay. Well, yeah, maximum stamina up. Definitely should have... I was gonna say I should have bought that sooner, but we, we, haven't, we haven't fought since then. That's a significant upgrade for him, having more of that. Is there more of those around? 
Every one of these diamonds, so I have to get all the way down to here to increase his energy. And here. And there's bonus ones. Verm strikes deal an extra one damage for each stack of Berserk. You can stack it? Oh. Verm's attacks deal 50% extra damage against gods. Oh. While in Berserk state, Verm heals two at the start of each turn. Oh! And then just regular stat stuff. Rage grants an additional turn of Berserk. Damn. Each of Vern's strikes inflict one bleed. Okay. Lots of bonuses all around. The final strike of a multi-part attack hits twice as hard. Does that mean that when he does rage and it does a, and it does a, a bonus hit, now that other one also does double damage? He can make a berserk longer. Okay. This is like the ultimate thing about his build is is to be good against gods because that's his goal in in life. But and also I want to get down here to get the max stamina up because getting it up to five would be crazy. It seems like you could just keep using your abilities. But every every little detour here taunts you with really strong abilities. It kind of seems like a no, a no wrong answers kind of build. Oh, Siobhan is very nonlinear by comparison. I need to make a choice. And I wish my sciences would just get over themselves already. Alright, max thingy. Siobhan goes berserk if an ally falls in battle. So she can also get berserk, but automatically. But in a bad situation. Siobhan starts the battle with one overclock charge? I don't know what that means. She's a pyromancer, is her name of her class. One thingy. Healing items used by Siobhan are 30% more effective, so she's better at healing. Allies can see enemy HP and status effects when she's here. Oh. Well, I feel like I have to get that one. <laughs> that's, just a, that's just really helpful to be able to, throughout the game, see how much health your opponent has. Mechanical exploit. Siobhan's attacks deal 50% extra damage against machines. Fire attacks deal 25% extra damage if Siobhan is at max health. That's nice, but feels niche. So she can get two more energy also, and they're relatively close by, but you have to go down in these little tangents. Making her stronger at healing is, has a nice appeal. The overclock charge could be strong, but we don't really know exactly what it is. But yeah, I do think I should probably get this just early on. Have that from here on out. So Verm and Bruce are both level 4 and Siobhan is behind by 1. And Bruce has a ton of health. He uses a... His god weapon is that he uses a pencil as a flute. That's how he's a bard. Bruce plays a variety of supportive and healing melodies. Get health up and then increased attack. Sweet melody cures status ailments. Healing melodies recover 30% more health. Bruce gains a 10% chance to dodge an incoming attack, just in general. Bunch of bonuses. Given that he has an attack stat that you keep having the level just to proceed, I'm guessing that that... She, he's not so much of a, of a pacifist. Defending recovers one uh, thingy, stamina, or whatever. That's good, because you're already waiting a turn, and the act of waiting gives you one, because you just get one every turn, so this means that you're doubling that effect, so you get a, a big spike of it. Encore bestows one thing. All right. Don't know what Encore is, but, you know. <laughs> There's some long trees here and there. Bruce's attacks deal 500% extra damage if he is tipsy. Oh. I'm guessing he's super, super, super weak then. Otherwise, that'd be really overpowered if getting him drunk multiplied his damage by six. But I wonder if he's even viable then. Like, maybe it makes him slightly stronger than other players. Or even just on par. Well, adding the... Curing of status ailments to one of my things seems like a good start for a character. But I am tempted to get the, the double recovery thing too. Good to know. Look at our colorful little crew. 
Once again, each one more clothed than the last, making this guy's nakedness all the more noticeable. It's very funny. Warning, the service tunnel's for authorized personnel only. Here we go. Oh, I almost forgot. I don't even think of using the service tunnel because one of our engineers was eaten by... Oh. They're gone. Well. Not my fleas, not my circus. It's a copper statue of a shrew holding a scroll. The plaque reads, Beauty can be found in all things. Buildmaster Vishruvius, first architect of Mirida. Vishruvius plans ahead. Save the game. Now we got three guys. The labyrinth. What denizens look within. I've got a problem. Our route goes via this tunnel. But it's all clogged up with fat and gunk and God knows what. So we eat. So we dig. You're welcome to get your hands dirty, lad. But I ain't touching that foul blob. I've got a better idea. This is an underriver pipe, right? So there must be a way to control the water flow. If we could increase the pressure, the blockage will pop right out. Hey, you're a smart one, ain't you? I reckon that might that just might work. Let's go find a tap or a lever or something. Go find a press to thing. Oh, what's the eye mean? You hear the distant sound of running water. The ocean floor was my domain. I dined on fish to keep me sane. What was that? What was what? Nothing. I must be hearing things. We have a, a sea shanty boss fight coming up. It sounds like... Oh, look at those reflections. That's neat. Whoa! That actually worked. Nice job, both of you. Let's press on. His idea of there being a labyrinth ahead in the first place we went was immediately blocked. Ah! Ah! He's just sliding at me while vibrating menacingly. What'll I do? A foul roach. Just a wee bug. You got this. Oh, so you're literally not going to help. Hey, bother. You got this. Ugh. Fine. Help me out, Siobhan. I thought you were so tough and cool and didn't need any help. Oh, he's really not. He's not even in the party to do barding or anything. Cleave. Two slashes in a row. And this doubles attacks? How do those, I wonder how well those combine? Let's see what that looks like. Out of my way! Burn! Death did half as much damage as it did before, so this guy's not weak to it the way the cats were. Well, we didn't get to see the rest of that attack. But suffice to say, I think those attacks combined to be doing a lot of damage. A button shield. Did a previous adventure drop this? Is this some kind of like Redwall reference or something? I've never read Redwall. Something just seems vaguely familiar about this. Upcycled from gutter end, plus one shield. Heals eight health, stops bleeding. You should probably hold the healing item. And she has less defense. This cloak gives her more defense, and then I can give her this button for more defense. Now they're both up to four. Whoa! The pencil flute does three damage. This one does four. This one does five. Very linear display of each one being stronger than the last. Bruce refuses to take it off. Well, I hope it's good. How mysterious. The Harlequin Mask gives four defense and one stamina. So that's pretty strong. Right? 
Yeah, it's as good as any, but it's better than any other item anyone else has. So there's that. He still has the nut. Oh no. It reminds him of his brother. Looks like another blocked pipe, fellas. What a pain. No point, Dodlin. Let's solve this. Two. The other one was the other one was a Roman numeral one. Okay. Roman numeral one is what we saw earlier, and this is two and three. You hear the hiss of building pressure. You hear the distant sound of running water. The sea went dry as fish shred few. I ventured far from up for something new. Do you hear that? Just the gurgle of the pipes, lad. I think I heard it too. It's a voice, but no one from any not one from any road and I know. I'm not expecting to know people here. Another pipe unclogged of god filth. Hey, mouse. I can't help but notice. You didn't have a tail. So what? Just curious where it went, Sol. The yellow god took it. Yellow god? Sir Verm's looking for him. He's had to mirror to find leads. Then I'm going to kill him. Wait, what? You didn't mention that before? A mouse who wants to kill a god. You're a mad lad. Gonna use this knife. What do you have there? A knife. No. Okay, so this... The buff spell gonna come in handy here. We are under attack. And out of my way. I think that you might heal between fights. Which is good to know. So only use consumables if we think we're gonna lose the fight, not like as a upkeep. Let's see if we can obliterate the whole character this way. So I think it says it normally attacks twice, but then we do a Rage Cleave, so it attacks four times, so it does 20 damage. Did it do five damage to the other enemy? I have to play it back to check. I feel like he was lower than normal. Another blockage? This is getting tedious. This is the last one, I swear. Miura's right on the other side of this pipe. Hey, Bruce. Why are you headed to Miura anyway? Gonna busk for seeds? Not quite. I'm meeting up with my... But my bandmate. Uh, meeting up with my... Bruce is gay. Yay. Boyfriend. That's the B word he almost said and then didn't want to say. Then we're gonna head to Sky Garden to play music for the Squirrel Duke. Whoa! I've always wanted to see Sky Garden. Don't bother. I hear the squirrels there are a violent bunch. Firm, that's so rude. Haha, <laughs> nah, it's true. Sky Garden's ruled or by Clan Grey. They've long year they've long earned their reputation as a bunch of nasty bamplets. Anyway, let's get this over with. We've got a number of directions to check now. That's a lot of enemies. Can you help, Bruce? You've got like abilities and whatnot. There's four, so that's our destination. Oh, these go places too? Oh my goodness. Huh! You found an avarice spider. <laughs> It's a mimic! That's what an avarice spider is. It's a mimic. That's cute. How much health do you have? Too many health! Get out of the box, you little twerp! 
I like that he gets his unique dialogue each time he's angry. Ah! Still almost season me. That's less damage than I'm used to. But still 16. But you're not gonna last. Regular attack? Yep, still doesn't have damage that's not worth... Not ignorable. Eh. <laughs> punk, punk, punk. Not the most intimidating attack. It's very upsetting to open up a box and just have spider legs come sprawling out, though. You picked up an insect part. Gross. Why'd you do that? Add it to your trinkets, nonetheless. Why'd you pick this up? Gross. All right. Well, who doesn't like some collectibles? Huh. Nothing else to give him. But if he's not in my party, I guess I don't care what his stats are anyway. Oh, some copper statue, some kind of warrior. Seems to have been damaged by the elements. The head is missing, and the plaque is eroded beyond comprehension. The Nameless Warrior still stands. Save your game? Your game's been saved. That's my destination. I'm gonna do everything else first. Ah. Uh, oh, five. That makes sense. Now that I've saved, let's go kill some guys. I may indeed be in the wrong neighborhood. Out of my way! Well, they're not really doing damage, are they? He does! He changes target. That's cool. Makes him seem very effective in general, but also just very... It's just very helpful for him to do that. That does mean I should have tried to set it up so it would attack the same person I'm already attacking, because then I could actually take this person out. The math is awkward here. He does, he does some real damage. Super! Ah, uh, cockroaches are vulnerable to bludgeoning damage. Because they get stepped on, I guess. Yeah, their, their health always just comes back. Yeah, it's not even tracked, like, what their current health is, because it's irrelevant. It just always is full when fights start. Ah! Okay. I had to go this way anyway. Or. What if you didn't know Roman numerals? Gasp. I'm wondering if it's a boss fight that's going to come out. This, whoever's doing the sea shanties. Upsetting sewer fish. I'm, I'm digging the baseline. You hear the distant sound of running water. Pursuing tastes of sweet of meats, I braid foul streams for gourmet treats. That sounded pretty close. I. Can I deny I heard that one? What did you get us into, clown? Is it gonna be here? Ah! That is an octopus. What is that? Just a wee bug, you've got this. That is not a bug, you flea-bitten fool. It looks like a deep, like the deep sea denizens I've read about. Did it come all the way for a meal? Now here I stand, thy life's forsaken. Commit my name, for I'm I'm cracking. Cracking, damn it, Bruce. We could really use your help with this. Aye, aren't you are? <laughs> I play a tune to raise your spirits. 
That's not helpful. Oh my god, the music. <laughs> this game's amazing. I'll dice you into calamari. I know what that is, apparently. I do you know, fire is probably not very effective against a fish. Resist. Well, now we know for sure. You have a bonus turn to an ally. Heal an ally. No one needs healing, so let's definitely give you bonus turns because you're actually strong. And then bonus turn. Oh. Blech. No! My bonus turn! The, po the way he's frozen, it looks like when you drop, like, water. You put, you put like, like water dropping on a dog's head, and they just, like, go... Eh. They just, like, lower their head slightly and close their eyes and just kind of freeze sometimes. Alright, well, it's not worm fire. Let's whack. Super! Super effective is trash, though, because... Our best, our best blunt weapon is hitting them with a lighter? That's bad. Okay, so Sweet Tune is supposed to cure... ...status ailments. Yep. At least we have that. Uh, I lost my bonus attack because they, they wasted my rage. Super! No! Alright, let's... Let's defend so I can get enough to actually play something. Uh... I'm not sure if it's effective to save up for for rage at this point. Please undie. Oh, that's unhelpful. Super! Almost there. Alright, so he still recovered stuff while he was doing that, so that's good. Uh, yeah, you, you don't want to need it the most. My kill. <laughs> what strength such tiny creatures bear, you force my flight to an empty lair. My favorite flight is when someone disintegrates and is dead now. Because they're dead. Alright, so. so Alright, so Shabon learned overclock that now we have context for what that is, maybe? Or we will. What did I tell you? Just a wee bug. An ocean monster doesn't count as a wee bug. Hey, bother. You had it in the bag. I don't appreciate being deceived. I got hee-ha to hide. Oh yeah, and then why wear a mask? Also, why start saying one word, then stop yourself and say a different word? Like you're hiding something. <laughs> Why are you two fighting? We're nearly to Mirida. Your mole friend is right. What's done is done. They point in squabbling. I guess. All right. To Mirida. First. The Atlas Rat. Is his tail coiled around it? 
Mirida, a, metro a metropolis beneath the floorboards. Oh! She, she hasn't figured out the superhero landing yet. This is Mirida. Aye, that it is. Doesn't look as glamorous as I imagined. Oh, this is just the shipping district. Hold on, I'll walk you to the city center over that way. Seeds. Clear out of here, punks. We got merch to move. I'm taking your merch. I'm stealing it. I'm stealing it all. <laughs> it's all mine. Mine. Got a leaf on his head? Look at that goob. What are they up to? Just goobing it up. You came here through the service tunnel, you absolute plonkers. But hey, guess you survived. Welcome to Mirida. Not usually a second conversation with these people, huh? Stilton was here, the cool S. I think this means that Stilton's the one that's always drawing the cool S. The, the Stussy. Is the rat... Oh. Heck. Rude. I think the pink text might be by Bree, and the green text is Stilton. And Stilton is, can't believe that Bree would be so uncouth as to write heck on a wall. Oh, there's the statue. Yeah, it's just tail's killed, uh, coiled all the way around. That's a long tail. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't see this coming. That's Ratless, the statue of the city center. Which means this is where we part ways. I'm meeting with my... <clears throat> my friend. And we're off to Sky Garden. Good luck, Bruce. Play their stockings off. Will do. Thanks for all the help. Hey, maybe we'll meet again sometime. Doubt it. Sir Verm, be nice. Ha, <laughs> classic Verm. Take care. We're besties already. We've known each other for five minutes. I've got things to do here, too. I know. You're looking for leads for the Yellow God. Sir Verm, I want to help. And I'm not taking no for an answer. So I'm going to do some research at Mirida's library. The library. Well, that's the best place to learn new things, right? There might be a book on the Yellow God. Makes sense, I guess. Books aren't my thing, so I'm heading to the Royal Palace. I bet the King knows a thing or two. Sir Verm, I don't think they let just anyone have an audience with the King. I didn't think of that. You reckon there's a booking system or something? Maybe? Whatever. I'll go find out. Let's split up and meet back here in a little while. Okay. He has accepted her into the fold. How did he get so big? <laughs> Wish we had a field or something. There's no room here. I'm going to be Captain of Mirror to PC. Just you watch. What kind of field? Like a field of moss? I don't think you guys could play soccer in a grass field with that tiny ball. What about how big the grass would be? Same person, different person? Bubbles. How do I wait, nerd? Shoom! Okay. I keep telling people this isn't a library. And if people come in just to stand around reading our books... 
Oh, I'm not telling them very well then. Am I about to end a second episode in a library again? I come here just to smell the books. Hmm. Love the new book scent. Mouse Wife Missives, A Tale of Lust and Longing. Cover's enticing, but now is not the time to read this. Oh, this is nonfiction, and up there is fiction. Remember, remember if you eat it, you buy it. The the Mouse Wife story is nonfiction? Real Mouse Wives? Star-crossed squirrels. It looks well-read. Marionette. Oh, dearest Sheena, I long to once again feel thy embrace, and yet I fret our love cannot be so, for squirrels gray and red cannot be wed, lest our fathers clash in battle throw. Sheena. Clans gray and red are not but shades, mere dye upon an artist's canvas. If color stands before our love, then I renounce my father's hue. Come take my paw, dear marionette, and let us paint a color new. Aw. Gay. You see a book titled The Destitute. It's heavy. Is there a plague rat up there? A plague doctor guy? Look at him. Sir, Sir Jacques threw a ragged vole at the lore master's feet. I got this scum making off into the night with a bag of your seeds. The lore master shook his head. Why? This rodent is no thief. I gave him those seeds as a parting gift. Sir Jacques let out a huff. He turned to his prisoner. It seems the lore master has saved your tale today. But mark my words. I've got my eye on you, Vol'jin. Ah. It sounds like they did genuinely steal, but they 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 kindly pretended that they that it was a gift to let them off the hook. Ah. 